Okay, Nasir Hussain. 50 crore people. Nasir Hussain, the Indian economy, uh, you know, looks better than almost any other, I would say, because it's always a comparative study. Start with prices. Consumer price inflation in the U.S. is at 8.5%, 8 which is at a 40-year high. In the euro area, it is 7.5%. These are economies used to inflation averaging less than 2%. And in the face of the visible whirlwinds, particularly to do with the rupee fall, still if the finance minister is quoting economists, and she, and she is quoting Bloomberg, she is not saying on her own when she says that there is a Bloomberg survey which has said that there is a zero probability of India slipping into recession, even though there are several major economies who are in substantial risky position of getting into recession. Shouldn't we be celebrating that we have good news here? Maria, you need not uh, keep defending the government. No, I'm not defending. I'm just talking about the points that have been made. No, no, this is so, what no, no, Mr. No, Ninian has said in his speech. Time also. Yes. You are, no, no, please, 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 allow me to speak. Please hmm. allow me to speak. Please. See, this is a government which keeps blaming others. If there are no roads, it was the Congress government which didn't do. If there are no toilets, it's the Congress government which didn't do. If there are no power in the country, Congress government didn't do. If the PSUs are failing, Congress government had not done this and not done. So everything that is not done in this country was because of the Congress government in the past and the ghost of Nehru is all, uh, uh, is all around in the country and in their speeches. Now, when they have failed on every front, when there is inflation, high prices, high unemployment and people are being pushed into poverty, then, then they start saying, see what is happening globally. What was happening globally? Was there not a recession in the interna uh, uh, at the international level when UPA was there? Didn't we uh, uh, control the uh, uh, inflation at that time? Didn't we uh, see that there was no recession in our country? Mm. It, is the it is the duty of the government to control in the inflation. It is the, the duty of the government to see and to maintain that uh, maintain the prices in the country. What we are and, and nobody is speaking about the fact. Don't you think the prices are rising? Don't you think Garib ke upar maar hai? Don't you think that the uh, BJP has said bahut hua, bahut hui mehengai ka maar apki baar Modi sarkar. So ab jo mehengai hai, ye mehengai ke upar kyun baat nahi kar rahe? Ab jo aakde de rahe, there are also international reports. There is international report on poverty, there is international report on unemployment, there is international report on happiness, there is international report on so many other things. Hmm. The international indexes on so many other things. Okay. The government dismisses them. Okay. The government dismisses them. Dr. Shashi Panga, the, the opposition don't wanted a debate. The, don't, don't you think they are... The opposition wanted a debate yeah, on price think, rise and, and GST. It has happened today. Are you of the opinion again, the question that I asked Nasir Hussain, that uh, did finance minister manage to convince opposition? Maria Ji, the only thing that we can be happy about in this country is that finally there was a discussion today in parliament. No, I'm answering. Uh, I'm from the Trinamool Congress. Yes, answering. yes. Uh, that's what Shashi Panja Nasir was saying. Yes, go ahead. So, uh, so many problems and this constant uh, denial of the harsh reality on the ground and those who have told us about the act of God or the Amritkal budget. Are we supposed to be satisfied with all that? Because what is the situation on ground? So if I go over to the person on ground who's hungry and explain to him our economy is doing much better than US, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you think that will actually uh, quell its thirst or uh, you know do away with the hunger? So what we are saying, there are two things. You know, it's very contradictory what the BJP honourable BJP spokesman is saying. On one ground, they are saying talking about social welfare schemes. Hmm. On the other uh, other side, we talk, we see the Honorable Prime Minister saying about ravery and freebies, that these should be done away with, that we, India cannot become, you know, self-reliant, etc. So please decide which way you want to go. If you want social welfare schemes, if you are using it whenever you want to use it for your political benefit and mileage. And at the same time, you're criticizing the common man and saying that these are all ravery. So there is one... A total contradiction on this. And if everything was so satisfactory, hmm. if, uh, if, if, then why didn't we have this discussion all these days? 
starting from the previous budget session, 28 days, 14 days in this monsoon session, it took us 42 days in parliament when constantly opposition was raising this issue that we must discuss price rise because that is not a political problem. It is a problem of the common man. It is our problem. So we have to rise above politics for this. Okay. And much to their defense that there has been a recession all over the world, still this government, the central government earned 14 lakh crores only from petrol and diesel. But the petrol and diesel taxes just kept went on going up, central taxes. They really became richer. I mean, uh, can you deny that? We okay. know that, yes, you have earned 14 lakh crores Rakesh during Sina, COVID times. And but you blame it on COVID. Old Are you blame it on the Ukraine war? Soaring energy and commodity prices due to Russia-Ukraine war is what you have been saying. But there are concerns of economy getting squeezed as well. And point being made by opposition is also coming from the fact that the Aam Admi is asking that Nimbu is so much cylinder ka dam bad gaya. So they have to answer. The question then is, because you're running the government, what should the Aam Admi be told? That U.S. Ke comparison mein India ka situation had, better hai? Uh, no, no, she had raised a very fundamental question that uh, you have to done away from the welfareist measure, if, as Prime Minister says, you, you have to make a difference between the concrete welfareism for the targeted area of the people. Socio-economically marginalized people, those who have been marginalized in course of the time, to inequity in the state policy and programs, and the philosophy based on inequity, not equity. Inequality has been the philosophy of the state. Uh, just giving bonaja to them, free bonaja. They, they were not strengthening the people. Here, the, by welfare measures, the Prime Minister Modi has a message to, well, to strengthen the people to become the part of the market forces. I'm giving one example. When we are addressing the street vendors, which, who are, have been contributing to the GDP, but they, they had never been the legitimate economic entities in India. They were economic entities, but not legitimate economic entities. They were the people doing business without social dignity. If the Prime Minister is providing uh, through his vision, and the government is helping these people, after all, where, from where money is coming? Whether it is a, uh, housing, it is a toilets, it is a national highway, unexpectedly go to any part of the India, any part, northeast go. The uh, tremendous development in northeast. I don't know how, where opposition is doing, what doing. They are, do, they are making a wrong criticism. And there are certain elites who have been left away by this Indian state because the philosophy of Indian state don't match. So they see every, everything as a pessimism. They see this is right, but that is wrong. Okay, this okay, balancing but, act but, is not right. But, but, but is Professor no, 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 Rakesh no, 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 surveys that have been conducted by the Centre for Monitoring Indian Economy Reviews are most 